this video, I am going to give the proof for the most important theorem that is Cauchy's integral theorem and this theorem is from complex integration. The theorem statement is that let f of z is equal to u plus iv be analytic on and within a simple closed contour C and let f dash of z be continuous there then integral C f of z dz is equal to 0. See what is given f of z is given as u plus iv. And f of z is analytic. Where it is analytic? On and within a simple closed contour C. So, this is an irregular shape. So, this is the contour C and f of z. See here, f of z is analytic. It is differentiable on and within, within every point. It is differentiable. Then we say that f of z is analytic on and within a simple closed contour C. And let f dash of z be continuous there. So, within and on the contour, f dash of z is continuous. Then, what is the condition here? Integral f, f of z dz is equal to 0. So, this is what we have to show. So, for showing this, what is given? So, we have from the theorem statement that C here we have f of z so we have f of z is equal to u x comma y plus i times of v x comma y and again we have what is z so z is equal to x plus i into y so what will be dz so if i differentiate this will be dx plus i times of dy and now see what is it we have to show f of z into dz integral is equal to zero so first I am going to multiply f of z into dz as we have f of z into dz value ready here f of z into dz. So what is f of z here? So f of z is nothing but u plus iv. dz is equal to this is dx plus i times of dy. See what happens f of z value into dz value is equal to if I multiply. So, this is u into dx plus i times of dy plus if I multiply with this, this will be iv into dx plus i times of dy. So, what happens f of z dz value is equal to if I multiply this is u into dx plus i times of u into dy. If I still multiply, this is i v dx, i square, this is minus 1, v into dy. So, if I separate these, so which one I have to separate? Real part and the imaginary part. So, this is without i, these two are without i and see here, this is with i. So, if I am going to separate this, then what happens? So, f of z into dz value is equal to? f of z into dz is equal to see here this is u into dx minus v into dy and see here from among these so if i take i common and write dx v dx first dx and then u into this is u into dy so this is ready f of z into dz value is ready with us now we have to make an integral so before making an integral see so, we need the integral of this. So, integral f of z into dz value. Line integral is equal to. This is integral u dx minus v dy plus i times of. This is integral v dx plus u into dy. See here, this is the line integral c. And now, you have to remember one thing. So, what is it you have to remember? So, you have to remember that according to the Green's theorem in plane. So, we have Green's theorem in plane. That is single integral or line integral m dx plus n dy is equal to this is surface integral double integral dou n by dou x minus this is dou m by dou y into dx dy. So, this is Green's theorem in plane. Now, I am going to apply here. So, m dx plus n dy. Here, this is m and this is n. Here, if you observe, I will consider this as m and this as n. So, if I 
keep it in this formula that is m dx plus n dy is equal to dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y so this is so simple if you understand see i am applying green's theorem in this so if i apply green's theorem then this will become see this is n first of all we have to write the n so for this a single integral so what is this this is integral f of z dz is equal to double integral of first we have to write dou n by dou x so what is n here here it is minus dou v by dou x so this is minus so this there is minus here so m dx plus n dy in place of n we have minus v that is minus v by dou x minus what is m dou m by dou y so here it is m here that will be dou u by dou y into dx dy this is surface integral and next thing is plus i times of see here observe properly plus i times of this is surface integral of in place of n we have u so dou n by dou x so i'm writing as dou u by dou x minus in place of m we have v this will be dou v by dou y into dx dy so got it so it's a so simple so first of all we have to write the real part and then the imaginary part and again we have to apply green's theorem in plain so we have to consider this as m and this as n here m this is n and this is the formula i have changed line integral into surface integral so after this so what is given from the theorem statement so in the from the theorem statement it is again given that f dash of z is continuous since f dash of z is continuous see here since what is given f dash of z is continuous f dash of z is continuous which means that so which implies that what is the meaning of this f of z is differentiable so it is differentiable at h and every point at each point on the contour or within the contour implies if it's di differentiable then we say that f of z is analytic see what we'll say analytic if it's analytic then what we'll say f of z satisfies the cr equations f of z satisfies satisfies cr equations so what are those cr equations so what are the cr equations as you all know that do u by do x do u by do x is equal to do v by do y and the next one is ux is equal to vy and uy do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so these two are the cr equations see here from the statement f dash of z is continuous so dash is derivative so f of z is differentiable at each and every point on and within the contour if it's differentiable then we say that f of z is analytic if it's analytic then f of z satisfies the cr equations what are those cr equations do u by do x is equal to do v by do y and do u by do y is equal to minus do u by do x see here from this equation i will apply cr equations so see what are those cr equations so integral see watch here watch here this one that is f of z dz is equal to this is double integral in place of do v by do x what i have to write or else do u by do x do v what is do v by do x so do v by do x is nothing but minus dou u by dou y so in place of dou v by dou x i am writing minus see here in place of dou v by dou x dou v by dou x i am writing that is minus this is minus dou u by dou y according to the cr equations and i am continuing this part as minus this is dou u by dou y into dx dy so this is dx dy and the next thing here is 
plus i times of see here plus i times of double integral of in place of do u by do x see here what is do u by do x according to the cr equations this is do v by do y so in place of do u by do x i am writing do v by do y minus i am continuing this one that is minus do v by do y into dx into dy so after substituting in this equation after substituting in place of do, do v by do x as minus do u by do y and in place of do u by do x as do v by do y so according to the cr equations see what happens here that is integral c f of z dz value will be double integral of minus into minus this is plus do u by do y minus this is do u by do y into dx dy plus i times of this is surface integral of do v by do y minus do v by do y into this is dx dy so if i cancel these or so this will be zero so that is integral f of z dz is equal to double integral of zero into dx dy plus i times of double integral of zero into dx dy and therefore the line integral integral f of z dz value is equal to zero so this is what which we have to prove according to the theorem see let me explain you it is so simple that see first of all what is the theorem statement so it is cauchy's integral theorem let f of z is equal to u plus i v be analytic so it is analytic on and within the simple closed contour contour is nothing but an irregular shape so it is f of z is analytic differentiable at each and every on and within the contour given contour and f dash of z is continuous there so here it is continuous then we have to prove that integral f of z dz is equal to zero see here we have f of z is equal to u plus iv and z is equal to x plus i y dz will be dx plus i into dy so we need f of z into dz so our f of z value is nothing but u plus iv and uh, dz is nothing but dx plus i into dv so if i multiply so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so u dx minus v dx and here also i wrote v first that is v dx plus u dy so i have to apply green's theorem in plane according to the green's theorem in plane integral m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral of dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y into dx dy so if i apply here m will be u n will be v so here m will be v and n will be u so if i apply this then See here in place of n minus dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx dy. See here first of all we have to write n that is dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou y into dx dy. Clear? See from the theorem statement. So it is given that f dash of z be continuous. So it is given that f dash of z be a continuous there. f of z is continuous then what does it mean f of z is differentiable at each and every point on and within the contour if it's differentiable then we say that f of z is analytic if it's analytic then it satisfies the cr equations so what are those cr equations do u by do x is equal to do v by do y and do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so in this equation in place of do v by do x i can write minus do u by do y i wrote the same thing and in the second integral in place of do u by do x so what i can write do v by do y so after writing and just after multiplying these two i got the zero result so this is how we have to prove that is integral c f of z dz is equal to zero thank you so much for watching and staying till the end so if you don't understand go through this video for one more time and this is the most important and i'll be uploading problems relating to this theorem and if you really like pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel